Oh yeah, something on there. It's up in the wash, backing up so I don't lose it. Yeah, we got it. It's another beautiful morning here in Florida and we are gonna be filming today. Also gonna put a few lines out in the water and see what happens. My focus is not gonna be on fishing, so if I catch anything, it's just gonna be, uh, that's gonna, just gonna be a bonus at this point. We're already out here on the beach. If you like my videos, go ahead and push that like, push the subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get a notification every time I put a video out, every time I go live and I really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. I've got something on my line over here. So I was trying to give this line a break to not be getting hit so bad. I'm trying to get a better angle here with the camera, but we're getting hit over here. So I want to show you in action how to be casting, how to reel in this fish. All right, so this line has been getting hit for a little bit here. I'm gonna pull this out, I'm gonna pull it back. I'm not dropping the line. I've gotta adjust the, uh, the tension on the rod. I'm just reeling quickly. It's actually skating on the top of the water. I don't know if you can see that, whatever kind of fish it is. Uh, we've got a little spot fish here. So we can see by... They look very similar to a croaker, but you've got the uh, distinguishing spot. Now I caught this on... I had fish bites on here, but it looks like he ate it. Salted shrimp. And I have the glass beads from the sinker guy. But as you can see, I just twisted that in a circular motion. Beautiful little spot fish here. We're gonna throw him back and we're gonna get the line back out in the water. So earlier I was talking about casting and my microphone wasn't set up correctly. I realized that after the fact that I was able to give you a little bit of a picture of what it looks like to properly reel in the fish. So we're gonna talk about casting next. As I have re-rigged, I'm gonna re-rig this rod and then I'm gonna talk you through how I cast it out. You can see me here when I'm casting. This is what we're gonna do. The first thing you do is to check that your line is parallel to the rod. So make sure that you've got this part, you know, turn it all the way around to where it is parallel. You're going to take your index finger. Oops. You're to take your index finger and pull it against the rod. Then release the bale. This is the bale. You're going to release that. Bring it around. I try to bring it to where the sink, the sinker is touching the ground. This is double drop. So we got sinker is the lowest point. And then come down, approach the water and I'm gonna release this line when it's at the top of the cast. Release it before it, it's gonna drop behind you. If you release too late, it's gonna just go directly in front of you in the water. And you don't want that either, so there we go. So I'm gonna flip it up. I'm gonna be pushing with, with this hand. I'm gonna be pulling down with this hand. So you have kind of a snapping motion as you're pushing this arm and you're pulling in with this one. It kind of snaps it out there. And then you want to get that bail back down. And then I like to reel it in to where there's tension on the line. You want a little bit of tension, not to where it's dragging it back in. And then you want to make sure that this drag is released enough so if a big fish gets on there, it's going to be able to pull that drag of it. So, and I like to have it to where it's also parallel here, so it it just it lays better as it's out there. And that is how I like to cast my line. So I turn this camera around because this line here is getting hit. We're going to see what's on it.
like there might be something on here. It's kind of cutting in. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah, something on there. It's up in the wash. Backing up so I don't lose it. Yeah, we got it. Oh, we got a pompano. I did not know these were still around. This is amazing. I thought they were all heading north. But here, he might be a little small, so I don't know if we'll be able to keep him, but we've got a pompano. I'm gonna turn the camera around here so you can see what I'm doing. Got first hand here, taking this pompano off the hook. So, the thing with pompano is you wanna watch out for, they've got some little spikes on the top of their body. I'll show you in just a minute. Right down, right down here, there's some little tough spikes. And right up in front of this dorsal fin, you can see these spikes here. Hey buddy, yeah, I'll measure you and see if I can bring you home or not. And yes, I talked to my fish. Um, but what I'm doing, oh, and I just realized it. I moved forward so you can't see. Okay, I'm just coming around with the circular motion like I talked about to get that right out of his mouth. Beautiful little pompano. We're gonna measure him. I've got a measuring right on my cart. But, whoop, beautiful fish. And <laughs> he does not like being out of the water. So we measure him, see if we are allowed to keep him. I don't think so. He is, so this fish is about 10 and a half inches to the fork. They've gotta be 11 inches to the fork to keep them. For safety's sake, I keep them when they're about 11 and a half because when they, I'm gonna get this guy in the water, but when they uh, when they cool down and they freeze on the ice, then they will shrink a little bit. We're gonna get this guy back in the water. Turn around so you can see me do this. Oh, this made my day. He was almost a keeper. I'll wait till this wave passes, and we're not gonna just throw him out there because he's been out of the water a little bit. so that he can get back out there safely. Well, I had such a blast fishing that day. Even though I was just filming and I wasn't really focused on catching fish, I got a surprise with that pompano. It was a nice surprise to be able to catch that fish. Anytime we catch a pompano in Florida, we're happy. So. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, push that like, push that subscribe, make sure you share it with your friends, and until next time, we'll see you, fishing girl. God bless.